what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel it's an early morning here back at Temecula Creek and if you haven't seen my last vlogs covering the other nines here at Temecula Creek go check it out but right now I am finally able to play Stonehouse which I hear is the hardest nine and believe it or not even though I'm local here I really haven't been able to play Stonehouse too often I really don't actually remember the golf course we gave it a drive-through last time we were here but I didn't really get to play play it and I hear a lot of good things a lot of awesome views as you can see in the back the mountains look beautiful here so this is gonna be a two-part vlog we're gonna break it down from five holes for the first one and then we'll do the final four hole stretch in the next vlog and we'll see how I take on Stonehouse on the blue tees so let's get to it Par 5, 505, hole number one here at Stonehouse at Temecula Creek. And I know that this hole you're not supposed to have a driver, so I have a three wood, which still may be risky, but I'm gonna try and hit it low and dry. Here we go. Draw. Draw harder. All right, we're on the, I think we're on the fairway actually, so we'll see. So barely in the fairway, uh, par five, this is, this hole just looks way further than I recall, but so I'm gonna swing in a three wood again. Here we go. Down the middle. Not bad. Warming up with three woods. <laughs> three wood ta uh, three wood challenge yeah, here. Three wood challenge right now. There we go. <laughs> All right. So my ball spun back a little bit. Reminder to always fix your divots, even the little ones on the greens, your pitch marks. Okay. Oof. All right. Not bad. Start with a par. I felt pretty good though. I'm really digging the putter, the way it feels. Pretty nice. about 119 but with the wind it's maybe playing like 122 123 uh, so I have a nine iron in hand I'm gonna try and hit a little softer Oop. that was a chunk and that's a bunker. not the best shot that ball went I know <laughs> All right, not the best approach shot. I have my 60 degree in hand, first bunker shot of the day. All right, downhill, left to right. Not the fastest greens right now, I have the morning dew. Oh my 
gosh. That's called a sandy. I'm really surprised, so I'll take it. <laughs> Hole number three, it's 402 yards, a bit longer. So far for the first three holes, it's a blind tee shot. And it really matters where it goes because it's really easy to lose your ball here. Like the moment you go in the rough, it's pretty hard to find. So over here on this hole, I'm gonna just aim on the left center of the fairway. Looks like everything banks right. And hopefully I can get a good drive out there because this is a longer par four. That's exactly where I wanted to go. I hope my aiming looked good on camera, but it's so weird because my setup, my alignment has been so whack, so I felt like I was aiming at those trees over there, and it actually went to my target. So, there you go. And quick fun tip is whenever you're teeing up, they always say to tee up on the side that you don't want to miss on. So I don't want to miss right, so I teed up on the right, so it angles me more away from the trouble. Worked for me on this one. So let's see, I'm actually gonna shoot it here this cart keeps telling me there's a blind spot. I know there's a blind spot on like every hole. Okay, I can't even see. I don't even know what the pin is. Here we go. All right, so it's 156, four down, so playing 151. So as you can see, this is the third hole. If you take a look at the fairway right over here on my left, you can see how hard it bangs down. I hit the very edge of it and I've come all the way down to right center when I've aimed left. So be very careful. Aim on the left side here. Check out this tree. What, you, what club you got? Seven iron, playing 151. I just gotta go right over this little hedge thing. Take it. So my shot was 151. My divot ended up about right here, three paces to the hole. I hit that seven iron exactly 147. So that's how you figure out your distances for your irons. All right. I finally got a chance for birdie here. <gasps> it's just not meant to be. I had to give it a go on the next hole. Gosh darn it. All right. Far is not bad, I guess. It's right, so a hole number four, 331 from the blue tees. Not that long of a hole. However, the last hole was downhill, so now we're going back uphill. Yet again, another blind tee shot, but I don't think it's as bad as the other ones because I think the carry mark is just barely over that blind spot so on this one I'm assuming the hole curves a little left because I'm seeing the cart in front drive to the left and so I'm gonna aim I'll go for left center on this one and we'll see how we go uh, it's safe I totally left my club face open on that one and I tried to like swing it this way Good thing it's a wide fairway. I think I'm in the right rough, even though it's a really big fairway. So, 138, it's uphill, wind is hurting a little bit. So on the last hole, I just hit my seven iron 147. So I'm gonna choke this down, cause I, I'm in a, the ball is above me and I'll, I'll just hit a softer seven iron. So here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be on the fringe. It hit the green and then it bounced off a little bit. So we'll see.
go. Par is the name of the game, I guess. Up five, playing 191. I'm thinking, I'm thinking a hybrid here. So we'll see how this goes. This is my four hybrid, 24 degree. hit that really good. That was like straight at the pin. I dig the hybrids. That was really good. Look, you can see Pachanga from here. Oh, you can. That little building right there. Yep. All right, so I just got to my ball and it's a little further than I thought, but you know what? That was a really good shot in my opinion. I think they say that for any club, especially long irons, hybrids and above, your chances of hitting the green, I think tour average, or no, maybe it's average average, is like 30 to 40%. So being able to hit the green here is pretty good in my opinion, but like who put that shelf there? I mean, that's why it's a difficult course, right? Because of that, that hill you see right there. So I think a good lag to end this vlog, I'd be happy with if I get it in even better. So here we go. up this five hole vlog here at Temecula Creek Golf Club on the Stonehouse course. Beautiful course. Basically the first four holes all have blind spot tee shots so be sure to pick out your target wisely. Check out this vlog maybe before you come out and play here if you want to shoot low or shoot decent. I finished at even par. All pars. You know what? I'm not complaining. I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope that you all enjoyed. Be sure to tune in for the next vlog where I'll be playing the final whole stretch here at Stonehouse. And that's it. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now, you guys.